Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a whirlwind tour through some of the main features of my Diagnostic Questions website. A website that has been designed to allow teachers to learn far more about their students' understanding and misconceptions of a given concept than ever before, and to allow students to learn from other students' explanations from all around the world. All the features you're about to see are completely freely available. So what are diagnostic questions? Well, they are an incredibly simple concept. One multiple choice question where one of the answers is correct, the other three answers are incorrect, but each of them reveal a key misconception that a student may have. All of the questions available on the website have been created by teachers and students from all around the world, and there are thousands of them. You can browse them or you can easily create your own and you can add them to a quiz by as simple as clicking on a button and adding them to your shopping basket. Or you can browse from hundreds of pre-made quizzes that are already available on the website. And again, with a simple click, you can assign each of these quizzes to a class of students. Your students then can answer these uh, quizzes using their mobile phones, tablets, or laptops. And each time they give an answer, they are prompted to give an explanation. And it is this, this explanation that allows you to learn far more about your students' understanding than you ever could before. When your students have answered the quiz, you get the results back presented in a lovely bar chart, but far more importantly than that, uh, you get access to their explanations that they've given. So as you hover over their name, you can read exactly why they thought they uh, that answer was correct, allowing you to gain a great insight into their understanding. You can also print off a summary of each of your students' responses, which gives their answer, uh, the reason they gave the uh, correct answer, and the most popular voted explanation for that correct answer, which is ideal for their revision. But if you're a student and you've finished completing a quiz and you've got a question wrong, it's not really enough to know what the right answer is. So what students are able to do on the website is read correct explanations given by students from all around the world so they can correct the misconception that they had themselves by finding an explanation that really means a lot to them. Um, as a newly qualified tr or trainee teacher or a teacher who's just interested in misconceptions, I can discover misconceptions that students have before I teach a topic by searching through some of the most misanswered questions um, available around the world. Every time I find a question, I can then click into it and read not just what the right um, explanations are, but far more importantly, what students have given who've given the incorrect answers. And this is going to teach me about the misconceptions students have before I go into the classroom. And finally, as an academic, I may be interested in different trends that are um, apparent in um, students' understanding all around the world. So here, I've filtered out males versus females for different mathematical topics to see if I can spot some interesting trends. And as a teacher, I could compare my year 11 boys' performance compared to year 11 boys in the US, in Botswana, wherever I want to see if there are any trends apparent. If you want to know more about how to do some of these things in greater detail, if you just click on the About section and go to the How To uh, videos, then you'll find loads of user-friendly videos there which will show you how to do all the things we've looked at in this whirlwind tour. Hope you find the site very useful. Take care and bye for now.